Hi. Uh, how's it going, guys? I'm gonna talk to you in this video about Mormonism. I know I already made a video on Mormonism. I'm gonna talk to you more about how Mormonism applies in America and how it applies to our day-to-day -day life. Now, on the dollar bill, it says something very specific. That is one of the mottos of the United States of America, which is, in God we trust. That is what was put on there by the United States government in regards to how they minted or printed the money that it is on. The second thing you might notice on there is an Illuminati sign, which is the all-seeing eye located on top of a pyramid. Now, these two things apply very specifically to one thing in particular, which is Mormonism, the religion. So, what this exact thing on the $1 bill says is that our um, life in America, in the United States of America, is dependent on the God of Mormonism, which is specifically to say that in our world, um, or in, in that aspect of that sense, what you see is what you get, is the belief system is Mormonism, and that's what applies specifically to um, the ideology that I'm getting at. And uh, the next thing is, um, and this is, so if you're unfamiliar with the Mormon belief system, it's the idea that once the prophet uh, John Smith um, um, located these things called seer stones um, back in the day, which allows him to see, allowed him to see, quote, the vision, um, which was essential to Mormonism and essential to his belief system and his role as being a prophet of Mormonism. Now, in the grander sense, this still fits into the belief system, which you see is what you get. Um, but what it says is that in each person, and I'll make this metaphor now, um, whatever floats your boat is whatever floats your boat, but thank God that you're still floating, you're not sinking. <laughs> so that's the metaphor I wanna make, and that's the metaphor I can say, is that's the metaphor you should keep in mind be thankful for whenever you know, you're thinking of um, Mormonism and the dollar bill. So um, the last thing I'll say is that um, in Mormonism, there's a lot to understand about life and how it works, but um, in your world, in your boat, um, if you're ever wondering about where you should go, as they say once, a ship and harbor is always safe, but that's not what ships are for. So I encourage you, just as anyone else would, to journey forth, to venture out, and to go forth and claim your destiny, because it's not going to come falling in your lap, it's not going to do itself for you, and if you want anything in America, you have to go and earn it, you have to go make it, you have to go create it, because nothing on earth is given everything on earth is simply um, what it is. It's, it's an Eden, it's a sandbox mode, it's raw materials for you to create, build, and make whatever it is you want. Um, and the value of that is determined by the buyer, <laughs> whoever wants it. So um, know that even if you're uh, lost at sea with choppy seas, an olive branch can always help you find your way though. So um, regardless of how you believe in these things, how you believe your role fits in with the entirety of the existing universe, Know that you will always be safe um, at home, but you'll never have a story to tell if you never met your fourth find your destiny. I encourage you all to go forth and claim your destiny, and I hope you liked watching these videos. I'm Jonathan, and I hope, I was looking for the camera, but I hope you um, learned a little bit more about Mormonism and how it applies to our day-to-day -day life in America and or in the United States of America, and I hope you um, do um, take a little bit of care and appreciation today for your daily life and how it does apply to you as a person, but a person who can achieve great things. So don't doubt yourself, don't look down on yourself, and don't think for even a second you can ever be any less than what you ever wanted to be, which is your best self. Not me, not anyone else, your best self. So thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing if you have, and I will see you when I see you. See you later. So.